Hey everyone, welcome to the Secret Sales Sauce Podcast. It's a podcast where we take business owners, top salespeople, and the people who support and manage them. Six questions in nine minutes, because if you don't give salespeople a time limit, they just won't shut up. So let's get right to it. So question number one, in a couple sentences, tell us who you are and what do you do? I'm Jennifer Hensley, the owner of Playmaker Coaching and Consulting. I work with small business owners that are kind of in that early growth mode of their business, and they're looking to get to the next milestone. Uh, they're usually in the financial services, um, other professional services, referral-based businesses, and I help them to create 90-day marketing plans to drive growth in their business. Love it, love it. Question number two, what, what is the best thing about being in sales? Um, you know, I don't really think about myself so much in sales, but I know that's a part of what we all do. And I think for a big part of it is just being able to make an impact with the clients that I'm working with, make things mm -hmm. easier, that there's so much information and distilling it down and helping them to move forward. And I think as a business owner myself, a lot of the satisfaction I get is in getting to choose who I work with, control my schedule, uh, leverage my skill set, and really do things that align with my core values. Absolutely. Yeah. As a salesperson, you know, business owner, you get a lot of flexibility there. So yeah. question number three, what part of the sales and prospecting process do you find most challenging? Um, you know, I had an appreciation of working with small business owners for years, consulting with them, but now doing it myself, it's a whole new level. And uh, um, I think the biggest thing is what goes on between our ears, you know, of our mindset and talking uh, to ourselves and not listening to ourselves. I think that's the biggest challenge that we all face. But then when it comes to marketing, a lot of it is, I think, around um, really understanding what your niche is and getting super clear on that because, um, you know, there's otherwise uh, you're just blending in with so many other people. And when it comes to something that you're selling that's often intangible when it comes to a service, it's really important that you differentiate yourself. And that's what makes you stand out. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're question number four. So what other business owners, top salespeople, the people who support or manage them that you know, that would be a good guest for the Secret Sales Sauce podcast? Yeah, I was thinking about that. And, and um, I think of um, Beth Ridley. She's been a top professional and has recently went out and started her own business doing some super interesting things with the brimful life of how to bring more joy into people's life. Um, Coach Amy Free, she's in the wellness space, um, has always been an inspiration for me and is great at getting people to push out of their comfort zone. And then my own coach, Julia Sewell, uh, Sewell with uh, Herald Coaching, I think has been a, a great resource and I know it's a lot of, does a lot of great work with salespeople. Love it. We'd love some introductions if you want to give them. So really appreciate that. Sure. Let's, get the, let's get the question number five. And you know, Jennifer, this is where you give a sample of that secret sales sauce. <laughs> Uh, so the whole reason I came up with Playmaker um, was because I've always played sports and I still play uh, soccer, for instance, on the center midfielder. And I think my job has always been to be able to see the whole field, to be able to make connections, look for scoring opportunities and unique ways to advance the ball. And that's what I always do in business as well. That I think was what sets me apart is being able to look for those opportunities and connect things together. And I've been in marketing and sales and compliance and practice management. And I don't think anybody else is looking at it from that perspective when they're, when they're talking about marketing. I often hear that somebody's, you know, looking for, has somebody maybe helping them with SEO or some digital marketing, but nobody's doing the whole thing and bringing it together in a meaningful way. And I think that's what I'm able to do is really start with what are their pain points and then how does marketing fit into it rather than leading with the technology. Well, let me ask you some tips there. Cause again, like what, about the sample secret sales sauce, I'm looking for some tips here. So what are some plan, uh, suggestions about integrating a plan into your sales process? Give me some tips. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it starts with certainly understanding, like, what are you trying to accomplish? So, uh, you know, is it that you're trying to build receptivity in the market, which is probably something that's um, foundational for most people is you got to start there. So thinking about how you're going to use social media in that space, it's going to be more around making sure that, you know, your profiles look good, that you have consistency with what people see on your your website versus social media, right. uh, that you're, you know, putting your value proposition out there and everything to start to communicate to people what it is that makes you unique and then building from there. So, you know, sometimes it's around receptivity, but for other people, it might be around, you know, you're still viewed as, uh, you know, a salesperson and you really want to be viewed more as a, you know, as a partner, a trusted partner with them. How do you change that perception? So then we'll right. talk about what kinds of marketing strategies fit for, for addressing that. Absolutely. No, completely agree there. Let's get to question number six. And, and during the pre-production, you thought this question was a little too personal, but I'm going to ask it anyway <laughs> there. I want, Jennifer, I want you to tell me about your first time. 
Um, yeah, my first sale, um, working with an individual, it's been really great. I think we just kind of clicked um, that similar personalities. I don't know if you're familiar with, you know, Gretchen Rubin or Four Tendencies, but we're both questioners. Mm -hmm. uh, so we value efficiency and expertise and something that, you know, seems like it makes sense. And, um, you know, just uh, he's got a lot of similar values and what's important to him and really excited to see him grow. And it's just been a lot of fun so far uh, to start to get some momentum going with him. Yeah. So you're saying your first time, you know, your first sale was with someone who had the same values as you. Yeah. Yeah. I was introduced to him and, you know, some similar similarities in terms of our backgrounds and, um, you know, he's just a little bit behind, behind me probably in career, uh, uh, where he's at in his career and it's exciting to help him get to the next level. Wonderful. Wonderful. So Jennifer, you now have three minutes and 23 seconds left. This is promo time. Ask me a question. Talk about whatever. I don't care. Um, well, I would say first off, you know, I think the types of people I work with, there's usually three types. There's either um, the person that hasn't done anything that's kind of overwhelmed and that perfectionist, that's kind of who my first client is that is looking for straight direction. Tell me what I need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the second bucket of people that are usually coming to me are the people that are doing too much and just throwing, you know, stuff up against the wall and seeing what sticks. Right. And they need somebody that's more of a partner to collaborate with them and make sure they have a plan. And then the third group are those that have done some marketing, but um, you know, it falls flat long-term in terms of execution because they don't have anybody that's driving that and helping them put in a process to keep it sustainable. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think if anybody falls into those buckets, I really love just to have a conversation with them and see if it's something that might make sense for both of us. I do have a promotion coming out in the next week around uh, your online presence. So as we were talking about that, of if somebody's interested in getting a personalized report for their, um, some recommendations on their online presence, they can send me an email and I'll get that out to them with some tailored recommendations for them. And I would love to hear from you. You know, what are, what are you seeing from other top sales professionals? As a, what's the secret sauce? I think the secret sauce for other top sales professionals right now is um, making sure like from a business owner, from a business owner standpoint, don't worry about your process being perfect. Just get it done. So, and I tell people once your process is like a C, and you're like, but it could be an A, start working with the C because what's going to happen is while you're going through that process, you're going to go, oh, I can do this better. I can do this better. Instead of building the engine behind the scenes and then putting it out there, realizing it doesn't work. Yeah. Progress, so not perfection. There. Yeah. yeah. I, that's what I'm all about. And actually, you know, I'm going to say this and I'm going to get my hand slapped. I tell people just get the damn thing done. Oh, he said, he said a naughty word. <laughs> Bad Bob. Bad Bob. <laughs> Yeah, you just got to, you know, next best, best uh, step forward. Um, and that's what I'm trying to tell myself a lot of times too, is um, the same kinds of struggles. Sometimes you want it to all be perfect, but you just got to keep moving forward. And no matter what, you probably know more than what they do. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> you're adding value. <laughs> that, that is true there. And so like for me, I started using a podcast as a networking tool, which is gets me in front of a lot of different people. My first podcast was horrible. <laughs> I mean, horrible. Is I have a pre, I have another podcast I do that's a little more fun and cheeky there, but my first one was bad. <laughs> but now I'm looking at it showing people, hey, look, now where I'm at now, and it's a completely different animal because I just kept doing it and figured it yeah. out. Yeah, you never know if you don't put yourself out there. Absolutely, there, Jennifer. We got 46 seconds left. Anything else, or we're done early? Um, I think that's the main thing. I just love to have a conversation. Uh, people can visit my website, betheplaymaker.com. Uh, and access me there, uh, and my calendar there. We can get some time together and see if it makes sense to, uh, to go from there. Love it. Jennifer, you pulled it off. Six questions <laughs> in nine minutes because if you don't give salespeople a time limit, they won't shut up. There we go. Uh, say your website one more time for me. Be the playmaker.com. Perfect. Jennifer, thank you so much for being on tip of the hat to you. Thanks. Appreciate it. It was great Welcome. to be here. Everyone else, keep on checking out more episodes of the Secret Sales Sauce Podcast. My name is Bob Clark. You guys have a wonderful day.